we'd like to define a new data type, specifically a structure. More specifically than that, we'd like to define a position structure. This is a data type that allows us to store exactly two numbers into one variable. So we are doing the position data type. There are several functions that go along with structures and specifically position structures. The first one is a constructor and allows us to create position structures. The function is make position and its contract says it takes in two numbers and produces a position. The next two functions are what are called selectors. The first one called position x takes in a position function and produces a number and the other one position y takes in a position function and produces a number. Notice that we can use the position structure as a data type so it can be used in our contracts now. The last one is just a way to check to see whether a variable is a position or not. This one is position ha huh? and it takes in anything and produces a boolean. True if the anything is a position structure, false if it's not. Let's put this to use a little bit. Let's define a variable, we'll call it point, that is a position. This position has x value of 47 and y value of 128. Close that, enter, and I'm going to click run so we store that in memory. Now I'm going to go down the interactions window and use some of these. We used make position in order to create that position. We called it point. And now we use the selectors like position x of points is 47. Position y of points is 128. And if we do position ha huh of points, we should get a true statement, which we do. So there's just quick examples there of things we can do. If we want to do addition of things, maybe we want to take this, we'll call this one point one. We'll make another point here. We'll call that point two. We'll call, make this one 109 and the other one 53. We'll run it so we have those two points defined. If we wanted to make another position that just added the x coordinates and y coordinates to these two positions, make position, we can do mathematics inside of a make position. We want to add position x of point 1 and position y of point one. And we also want to make a y. Let me back up there. Instead of position y, position x of point two. And we want to add position y of point one and position y of point two. Notice we'll make a new position of 156, 181, which is just adding these two points together. 